Okay, this is a clip that a lot of you have been waiting for me to get started on. And in this clip, I'm going to show you how to implement supporting pages in your custom features. Basically, I'm going to make an edit page so that an administrator or a person with edit rights could edit these uh, guestbook submissions that were posted by the public. And we will link to that page from here and we'll pass in the page ID and module ID. And first thing I'm going to do is go back to Visual Studio and create the page, add new item, web form, And I'm just going to call that edit.aspx, and I'm going to add it. Now, we want our page to blend in with the skinny and other things of Mojo Portal. So I'm going to use a CodeSmith template I have to just kind of give us a jump start to make that. UI starter page generator. So I open this guy up and change this to just get the UI. And what is our namespace here actually? Acme.web.guess. Well, let's see. What do we have it here? Acme.web.ui. And we get this edit. And we'll generate. And then basically, I can scrape this here. Paste it in here. And grab all of this. It's just a starting point for my code behind. You see, I've already got some stuff that the template generated for me to get the page ID and module ID that are expected to be passed in the query string. Business namespace. Acme.business. So I got that wrong. Uh, and we don't use this to reference it yet. So we'll put just to get this thing working. And then back in our guest book, we're going to put a edit link. And this, I believe, is an intrinsic property of our site module here. It is editable. It checks the user's permissions. Then navigate or all. And it's going to be the most important one. Let's 
let's build that and see what we got. Might not have got all that right. Okay, but actually, we got some empty ones there. This has been before we had the validator. And we need to pass more than just page ID and module ID because we actually need the item ID or GUID of the individual guestbook entry. So, I'm trying to remember what we have as a property here. Okay, guestbook. Item GUID is what we want to pass. Build that again. And we'll refresh our page. Oh, it's not an intrinsic variable. We need to have eval around it. That's right, because it's coming from our data, unlike the page ID and module ID are intrinsic properties of site module, but this guy is just coming from the database, so we've got to do the regular eval around that. Okay, so if we mouse over the URLs now, you can see in the, if you look down here when I mouse over there, you'll see we're passing our item GUID, page ID, module ID. So let's just go ahead and click one of these, and oh, we're getting a script error. I'm just going to say no there. I think it didn't copy the page in our post build event. So we go back to Visual Studio and we check our post build event for this. <clears throat> and you see we don't have anything copy in the ASPX. So we're just going to copy and paste this line and change it to the ASPX. Save that and we'll build again. And we'll just go back to the home page. We'll go back to our guestbook page. And again, we'll click an edit link. And now we've just got to, it's loading the page, but we've got an error in the page. It's, uh, again, it's not declared correctly somewhere. We'll just go back to our edit page. Acme.web guestbook edit page. And make sure that in our web UI, so this is what it should be. So we've got two page declarations here. That's what the problem is, too. We've got this part pasted in, but we had this at the top. Probably some of you noticed that. So this came out right. Our generator did the right thing. It's just we didn't paste over the original one. So build once again. I wasn't paying close enough attention to this error. Okay, so that worked. So we can see now we can go back to the guest book. Now we can easily go back and forth from the edit page. And you see how it keeps the menu highlighted correctly. This is the edit page for a feature on the test page. So passing in the page ID is what helps the menu stay correctly lined up. Well, we're out of time for this clip. We've got our page established, and we'll pick up in the next clip actually implementing it.